So here's how you can draw two water molecules forming hydrogen bonds. Remember that we have our water molecule here and there are lone pairs at the top. Those lone pairs, they're gonna push the hydrogen atoms here down. That gives us that asymmetrical shape, that bent molecular geometry. And remember, we have bonding pairs of electrons right here between the hydrogen and oxygen. That's the covalent bond. But these electrons aren't shared equally because oxygen, that's more electronegative than hydrogen, pulls them over here, and we end up having our partial negative here on the oxygen, and on the hydrogen we have our partial positive charges. So water's a polar molecule, that's why we can form hydrogen bonds. So here's how you might do it. So we have two water molecules here, we have a partial negative, partial positives down here. How do you think they would line up? Pause, give it a try. And here's a pro tip. The hydrogen bond forms between a lone pair on the water molecule and a hydrogen on the other water molecule. And that's it. That's how you would draw your hydrogen bonding for two water molecules. Of course, you could form hydrogen bonds from this lone pair to another water molecule, from this hydrogen to another, and this hydrogen to another one again. Four total possible hydrogen bonds for each water molecule. It's Dr. B. Thanks for watching.